friends, today we're going to draw a Christmas owl. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along because art is always better with... Friends. Friends, just like you. <laughs> you need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a marker. You also need some... Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah! <laughs> Let's start by drawing the beak and we'll draw a letter V in the middle of our paper but towards the top of our paper so that we have room for the whole body. Then let's draw the top of the beak. We'll draw an upside down U. Now let's draw the eyes and we're going to draw them really big because it's an owl, right? They have big eyes. Mm -hmm. We're going to draw a circle about this size and we're drawing it above the beak too. So see how it's higher? Yeah. We'll draw it about that size and then we're going to draw that same circle on the right side for the other eye. That's okay if they're a different size. Mm -hmm. We're practicing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, inside of these circles, let's draw a smaller circle in the top left. This is for the reflection or the highlight to make our owl eyes look super friendly and shiny. And cute. And cute, yeah. Let's draw another circle right next to it, even smaller. Now let's draw the outside of our owl eyes. And on this eye, on the left side, I'm gonna start right on the pupil and then we're gonna draw a circle that comes out further and gets bigger and then comes back in. Yeah, we're gonna color this shape yellow at the end. And then let's do the same thing, but flip it on the other side. So we'll start on the inside of the pupil and then we'll get bigger on the top and the outside and then come back in and connect where we started. Oh, it's already starting to look super cute. Yeah. Let's draw a scarf around our owl. I'm going to draw a line that comes out from the beak to the right. And we're going to go past the eye. And we're also going to do that same in the same place, but on the other side, come out to the left. So I'm going to turn my paper. Yes, that's a good idea. And then that helps to draw it straight. There you go. Go up and then draw that same line going down. I like that you turned your paper sideways. There. <laughs> yeah. And then this one you could extend out just a little further so that the line comes out past the eyes. Okay. Yeah. Now on the left side, we're going to curve up and right above the eye will stop. And let's do the same thing on the right side and we'll curve in too, like almost like we're curving over the eyes. Now let's draw the top of our owl's head. I'm turning my paper too. We're going to draw a curve that goes over each eye. We're going to leave a little space just over the eyes. Now let's draw the little ears on our owl. I'm going to draw a line, a diagonal line that comes up a little higher. These aren't really ears though, right? They're yeah. just um, feathers. And then we're going to curve down and connect to the side of the head. Then let's do the same thing on the right side. Draw a little diagonal line coming up and then curve back down and connect to the side. Now let's draw the Santa hat on top of our owl. Right here I'm going to draw a straight line up and we'll do the same thing over the other ear too. And then let's connect these two lines. This is the fluffy part on the bottom of the Santa hat. Then let's draw the top of the Santa hat right here on the right side. We'll draw a diagonal line coming up to the left. Then we're going to draw, we're drawing it folded over. So we're going to draw a curve that comes over to the side. And then let's draw it coming down really far. So we'll come past the ear. And then right here at the end, let's draw another short diagonal line back up. And then right at the end, let's add a pom-pom, a little circle. It's so big. <laughs> we did it. Now let's finish the scarf around our owl's neck. We can come out to the side and come down. Same thing over here, out to the side and down. Then let's connect the bottom of the scarf with another line across. And we can also draw the end of the scarf coming down further. So let's draw a line down from the bottom of the scarf. 
Then we'll go over and up. Let's draw another end to the scarf. We can draw another line coming down, but maybe this one's shorter and then we'll connect it. Let's draw the little end to the scarf. We could draw lines coming up all the way across the bottom. And we could do the same thing on the other end of the scarf. What should we draw next? The wings. Yeah, let's do it. Let's draw a curve right here. We'll start here on the inside of our owl. We'll curve out and past the end of the scarf. So we come out wider. Then let's come up back to the scarf and draw a little curve down. And then for the end of the wing, let's draw a zigzag line to connect that little line to the other side. Let's repeat that same step for the other wing, but it's behind the end of the scarf. So we'll imagine it coming down like this and then curving out from the bottom of the scarf and out past the edge of, or this end right here, the edge of the scarf. Yeah. And then let's draw that short little line that we did over here and also a zigzag. And I drew three zigzags, so I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now what should we draw? The feet. Yeah, let's draw two ovals to keep it really simple. So here's one foot and another one right next to it for the other foot. And then we could draw two lines on the inside for the fingers, or I mean the toes. The toes. Yeah, the talons. And then let's connect the feet into the wings. So we can draw a curve coming out and connecting to the wings on each side. And then we can also draw, well, let's draw a branch that our owl is sitting on. So we can draw a straight line in between the feet. And then let's kind of have it come out the side over here. And then let's also draw, this is the top of the branch. We're gonna draw another wiggly line coming out to the left. And then let's draw the bottom of the branch. So we can start here. You can draw another wiggly line coming into the bottom of the foot. You kind of have small feet, so you could draw a small branch. Mm, okay. And you could also start at the foot too. And then we'll connect in between. And then over here, I'm gonna draw it a little different. Maybe it comes down and it has another branch. And then we can go back up and then come back out to this edge. <laughs> And we could also add snow on top of our branch. Maybe there's a little bumpy line on that side and a little bumpy line on this side too. Oh, I'm gonna add a little snow on this branch too. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our owl, our Santa owl, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, my favorite. We are going to fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings too. At the very end, we'll tell you what colors we're using. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our cute owls. I love how they look all colored in. I do too. I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings. And we used our biannual marker set. If you have these same markers, the colors that we use is R107. That's the red color for the scarf and the hat. And we use this red for everything. Mm -hmm. In fact, we might need to buy more because they're running out. Yeah, <laughs> and the brown we used is Y529. Yeah, that's for the outside of our owl. And then the inside we used was Y611. The orange is Y505. And then the yellow for the eyes is Y107. Yeah. And the blue shadow on the snow is B203. Yeah, we also use that on the hat. And then the branch color is a really dark brown, Y648. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Christmas owls. Yeah, and I'm sure they turned out really cool, even though they look different than ours. Both of ours look different, and that's okay, because the most important thing is... To have fun. And to practice. Practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.